hello food lovers welcome back to this awesome channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this awesome rotisserie chicken this chicken was amazing it was awesome it was juicy it was very soft in the inside oh my god so hope you guys are going to like this video don't forget to subscribe like share and now let's get started So first things first, I had to clean my chicken. And for cleaning my chicken, I used warm water. As you can see here, guys, I was just mixing the cold and the warm water. I didn't want to make my water very hot since I, don't, I didn't want my chicken to like burn the skin. I didn't want its skin to get that burned. And I didn't want it also very cold. Then I went on and added two lemons. I squeezed in the juice, as you can see, and then added my lemons just in there then i later added my chicken so guys you can also add vinegar if you don't have the lemon you can use the yellow lemon or just the green lemon any type of lemon that you have is just awesome so once i finished squeezing in my lemon juice i went on and added my chicken yeah, as you can see first i added salt then i added my full chicken Yes, as you can see there, and I gave it a good, a good wash. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you wash it in the inside very well. Especially, guys, if you if you've bought this chicken just from the store, the supermarket, make sure you clean it thoroughly. So I let my chicken stay in the salty water uh, for about thirty minutes. At this point, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. Feel at home. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting me. Yeah. So, guys, you're now ready to 900. Please continue subscribing. If you're watching this video without subscribing, please do consider subscribing and join the family. Next, as we wait for our chicken to soak in the lemon salty water, we're going to prepare the ingredients, the ingredients that you're going to use for marination. So here, guys, I chopped one a bell pepper. I roughly chopped it. Then I went on and chopped garlic. I also chopped uh, two, two medium-sized onions. Yeah, then I'm going to blend this in a blender i want them to form i wanted them to form a very thick paste you know a paste that can be applicable on a chicken yeah you don't want to have those large large chunks but guys if you want to eat your vegetables whole you can also stuff them in your chicken yeah you can also stuff them instead of blending them for any measurements of the ingredients that I used during this video, don't worry guys, I'm going to write them in the description box so you can go and refer them there. And also one more thing, don't feel limited on the amount of vegetables or the spices that you're gonna use for your marination. Go as a notch high as you'd like. Yeah, don't limit your taste buds, okay? Yeah, so here guys, I used a ginger that was a very large ginger i know but guys it served its purpose and it was very it made the marine the marinade do we call it the marinade the marination please tell me in the description box below so i uh it made the marinade very very yummy as you can see guys i blended that awesomely and then added it to a, cl a clean nice bowl next you're going to add one tablespoon of vinegar this is white vinegar then you're also going to add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce this is to give the chicken that awesome brown color yeah then you're going to add in mixed herbs you're going to add black pepper paprika also added garam masala also added black pepper i don't know if i've said yeah and then i added curry powder and then gave it a good mix then i also added a uh, salt taste yeah so you're going to add salt to your preference and i also went on and added dry 
uh, rosemary and then give it a good mix then later i added my vegetable oil you can use the olive oil avocado oil palm oil any oil of your choice then i gave it a good quick mix so as you can see this is after the 30 minutes of letting our chicken soak in the lemon salty water and i'm going to give it a good rinse with cold water straight from the tap guys make sure your chicken is well cleaned so some some may prefer letting the chicken stay overnight in the lemon water or just the mar the marinade of your choice yeah so mine i just let it stay for 30 minutes in the water and then i marinated it for a i let it marinate for about another 30 minutes Next, you are going to marinate our chicken. But before you start marinating your chicken, make sure you've pat it dry. It shouldn't be wet. So I poked some holes near the thighs. Yeah, that's why I'm also going to stuff some of my marinade and also the inside. Yeah, I'm going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. As you can see, guys, we also formed some pockets near the breasts. And I'm telling you, just stuff in your marination those vegetables and i'm telling you this chicken was mm, it was very awesome next once i was done marinating my chicken using some strings i tied the thighs the thighs together plus the wings so that they wouldn't flop all over the oven once i placed my chicken in the oven yeah so some usually prefer tying the legs once they have already added the chicken to the rod but I prefer first of all tying them before anything else. So make sure they are tightly tied. Yeah, plus their wings as you can see.
so guys here as you can see it was after letting my chicken marinate for about 30 minutes as i had said earlier and it's time i skew in the chicken first i add the rod then i what do we call this is it plugging in the fork like things yeah make sure they are they are well tightened up yeah make sure the chicken is well skewed what do we call this process guys please tell me in the description box below and then guys i baked it for one hour at 190 degrees celsius so guys next you're going to make the sauce that you're going to apply on our chicken here I added ketchup, about four tablespoons. Then I added in my barbecue sauce, about two tablespoons, and then gave it a good quick mix. Guys, this was after the one hour, and as you can see, my chicken was well all cooked. Now it was time for me to add the sauce that we had just made oh my god this chicken was amazing i i can't insist it was very amazing yeah so for the sauce you can go according to your preference you can make the garlic sauce you just use the barbecue sauce and i'm telling you, it was awesome so after applying the barbecue sauce um i went on and took it to the oven for another 20 minutes so guys this is after the 20 minutes of me placing my chicken back to the oven and it was awesome as you can see it was very very awesome it was very easy to tear and it was very moist it wasn't dry in the inside okay so first things first of course remove the rod cut off the strings yes because you don't want to bite any strings nobody likes taking strings nobody yeah and then you go on and serve by the way guys i'd like to know what do you serve with your rotisserie chicken do you take it with mashed potatoes do you take it with just vegetables do you take it with a salad do you take it with chapati just let me know because as for me i like i like mine with mashed creamy mashed potatoes you guys just look at this awesome chicken as you can see guys it was very very easy to tear it was very very soft so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you liked it and until next time it's bye don't forget subscribe like share we are now road to 900 subscribers and very soon 1000 subscribers and don't forget to join this family don't forget to leave a comment and until next time it's bye